When you're setting prices for your products, services and packages, how do you know what price points will appeal to potential customers and inspire them to buy? Pricing is a delicate balance of marketing and science. Here we're going to use both to increase your chances of making the sale. 99 it. This is quite possibly the oldest and most used trick in the book because it works. If a product is advertised as costing say $9.99 rather than $10, the brain is so quick in encoding numbers that it registers the smaller number so the price seems much less than only one cent cheaper. Cancel the comma. Prices seem much smaller when you remove the comma. Pinch the pennies. If your price is a round number, then don't use the decimal. Remove the currency symbol. Notice how a lot of restaurants don't use the currency symbol in their menus? That's because without it, the item appears to cost less. Odds and evens. Customers are more likely to choose a price that ends in an odd number that is below an even number. Use numbers with fewer syllables. The more parts a word has when you repeat it to yourself or someone else, the more expensive it seems. Try and use numbers like 2 rather than 7 or 12 rather than 11. Use words that relate to or mean small. For example, in your sales pitch, use low fuel consumption rather than high fuel efficiency. Offer three options. For varieties of products or packages, offer three different price pointed items. Most people will not choose the cheapest as they perceive it to be inferior or don't want to be judged as cheap and are more likely to choose the middle or top tier price. Think about buying a bottle of wine at the restaurant the cheapest is not the most often chosen. The bottle at the next price up often is. Decoy pricing. Offer three prices that make the upsell only slightly more expensive. For example, when purchasing a coffee, the small may be $3, the medium $5.50 and the large $6. Most people will opt for the large because it is only 50 cents more and represents better value. The medium size is only there to encourage sales of the large. Positioning. Put your target item near a much more expensive item, even if they aren't related. It'll make your target item appear much cheaper. For example, a $30 t-shirt positioned beside a pair of $400 headphones will make the shirt compare favourably. The same works for menus. Add an overpriced item you know won't sell so that other menu items look cheaper. Use the biggest possible way to discount. For example, a $200 shirt could be discounted by 10% or $20. They are both the same discount, but the $20 figure looks like a larger amount and therefore gives the perception of a better discount. Discount in stages. If you have a massive sale, don't immediately end it and return to full pricing. Try and offer a lesser discount. The fear of missing the discounted price can be enough for people to purchase so they don't miss out again. Break it down. Our brain automatically picks up on small increments, even though logically we know the total price. So where possible break down prices into instalments instead of a lump sum, or use periodic pricing like weekly or monthly instead of yearly. Better yet, compare the small amount to something we already purchase in our daily lives, like a cup of coffee. Personal touch. Be careful with this one, especially with personal distancing rules. But research has shown that a woman touching either gender in a safe place like a shoulder makes them feel more comfortable about spending money. An old salesperson's trick related to this is to match the body language of those you are trying to sell to in order to create rapport and trust, which aids the sales process. Add contrast. An original price that is different in colour and size to a discounted price will draw attention to the discrepancy and make the sale price seem more appealing. Men see red. Research has found that men are more likely to purchase products when the prices are displayed in red. To them, red equals discount, whether there is one or not. Offer options for paying. If you don't already, make it easy to pay without cash, so debits or credit cards, for example. People are more reluctant to part with cash, as it seems like the item is more expensive than if paid for in a cashless way. Make the production of the product seem more expensive. Phrases like handcrafted, organic or heritage increase the perceived value of a product and can be more effective than simply saying, this looks great. Make it exclusive. Loyalty membership is a great way of providing exclusive discount. People will want to belong to your club 
which also adds another valuable lead to your contact list. Sell the benefits, not just the features. People respond to knowing how their life will improve or a pain point will be removed by using your product or service. So don't say that your camera is a billion megapixels. Focus on the precious memories that will be captured for a lifetime. People pay more for nostalgia. Research has shown that people will pay more for products that inspire feelings of nostalgia. You value money less and feel more willing to part with your money. So use these hacks wisely to tip your prospects into paying customers.